Well, here we are. Back in the i3, doing the thing. Well, I just got a pigeon land on my car. I don't know if you saw that on the camera, but it did. It's telling me roof down. I'm gonna go around my estate. I'm an estate boy. Born and bred. And we are going to have a little chat regarding what I think of this i3. Welcome to the one year event. It's now one whole year since I've had this thing and I'm gonna rant through this in many ways. One of the ways being as I'm driving, and the other way as I'm actually going round the thing like I did before, uh, as I did on the six month review for this i3. And I'll let you know if I still feel the same as I did six months ago. These ice drivers do not realize how rapid this little thing is off the mark and it kind of shocks people um, and wakes them up to be fair even some quite rapid cars from 0 to 35 to 40 and that's the one thing I do love about this thing it has got that acceleration off the zero because it's instant fluid power which you will not get with these fossil fuel cars all around me now back to the way it drives it drives great battery has not degraded one iota from what I can make out so that's a great bit of news. This thing does get looks, you know, not only, it, there's a lot of kids there, well, it's electric and they point to it. And it is a bit funky looking still, and even a year down the road, I do feel that it does stick out a bit. Do. So does it drive the same? Yes, it does drive the same, exactly the same as it did when I bought it a year ago. It's tight as hell. The steering's like dodge them tight. The suspension isn't creaking. The brakes have not been done, like I've said before. It's, it's not cost me a dime. And with that in mind, you know, buying zero parts, I feel it's a big thing when you're buying an electric car to think about the money savings. What do I wish it had? Well, I wish it had, I don't know, more battery range. And I know I shouldn't be saying that because this is a, a 94 amp hour battery and put the two together with the Rex, so I can get 200 mile out of this before I have to charge it or put anything in it again. One thing I have been asked is, um, could I buy anything to fill this void electrical wise um, which would give me the same back in performance and miles per kilowatt and all the rest of it for the same price that this is now worth I don't know let's say it's worth 16.9 to 17.9 let's hope it's worth around that money well there's not a lot the Hyundai Ionic is boring to look at similar range maybe a tiny bit better but similar range hasn't got the oof this has got hasn't got the the build quality this has got so no I don't think there is is the answer I think I'd struggle to find something without adding another six or seven thousand pound to get me up towards the 24 grand 23 24 and then I get you know I'll be able to buy an next demo of something but when it comes to the actual buying something for the same money to give me better no, I don't believe there's anything out there. This is why I still put the i3 in one of the best value electric cars below, let's say 17,000. And if you don't want the Rex, you can get a 94 amp battery one now, which is about 33 kilowatt. You lose four of them by the way, but you can pick one of them up now um, for 14, 13 and a half if you want a high miler. The only way you can get cheaper than that is go for this, the uh, the smaller 60 amp hour battery pack, which it wouldn't be enough for me, I don't think. So I'd, I'd leave that one. I doubt very much of this give you some concept of how fluid it is from zero. But if I pull up with some lights, you might be able to see how, how quick it looks and how it feels when it moves off. We've stopped some red lights and behind me, I've got top range RS Audi. Let's surprise him and shock him. Here we go. Well, 
Well, here we are. Doors are open. This is how I eat my fish and chips on a Friday night when I'm in town. Very comfortable this actually. No tray here and away I go. It's a year. A long year, although it's been very, very quick. So do I still keep it? Do I sell it? What do I do with it? How do I feel about it? When I bought this thing, I did say that BMW had made a great little car. And I still believe that. Do I like it enough to keep it? Well, I think I'm going to answer that now. And that is a yes. There isn't many cars that I can think that would do the job at this money. It's a 2017 model, late 16 registration. It is the Rex, so it's about £1,500 more because it's the Rex. So yes, I, I've lost a tiny bit of money like everybody does. I did buy this from a very reputable dealer and it's been brilliant. And I will reiterate on something. Every single switch, every single door latch, every single anything on the car still works perfect. Now that's a hard, that's a hard thing to find after a year. There's normally something wrong. I cannot knock it. I put two new tires on it. Obviously that's wear and tear. Outside of that, bleh. so if I'm not selling, what am I doing with it? Obviously, I'm keeping it, but for how long? For flew through an MOT, needed nothing. Nothing is wrong with it, and this is what makes me keep it for another maybe seven, eight, nine months. May even keep it for the full year, all the way through to you know August 2022. I really don't know. I'm I'm waiting for that next car that will do the 250 mile range in the summer, have rapid charging, price below 25k, brand new, eight year warranty, maybe even 10 year warranty on the battery pack. I mean, if this is eight, it's still under warranty now on the battery pack. But I'm still waiting for that car to happen and come onto the scene, and I know it will do soon. And I've got a feeling it's going to be the Tesla 2. Might not even be called the Tesla 2, but if that car does come out, or a very, very good Chinese car happens to come onto the scene that fills all my joys and fills all them voids, then yes, this will go earlier. But the Tesla 2 ain't going to be until I would guess at least another year before he asks for deposits, and maybe you won't see the car until I would say very late well mid 2023 so she's staying so back to it inside now still trying to think of something that's bad about it and i'm struggling i wished in late 16 they would have actually put in uh car play i have got that now in this vehicle but i had to add it on so if I do sell this, it's it, again, it's something else that someone's going to benefit from because it's got CarPlay and Android Auto at the push of a button. I do feel that the option of the sunroof was one of the better things that I really wanted. And I'm glad I did because this thing in the summer can get really warm. And instead of having the AC on, you can just open the sunroof and you get that nice little bit of blow and um, fresh air. So if you're looking at one of these people and you're thinking about buying one, Go for the sunroof option it makes it so light in here and i i said that in my review of this thing six months ago and i still stick to it buy one with sunroof option makes it a hell of a different car forget about the cut the sound system the harman Kardon, blah blah and garden in your garden who needs it the sound system on this is is, is okay anyway you've got to really be a purist on music to bother with paying the extra for that extra speaker in the front and that bit of a deeper tone so i wouldn't go for that. pay the go for this get the option of the sunroof if you find anyone who's selling one and you're looking for one the other thing i have tried as well for the first time which was great and i did do it on my you'll see it on on this channel on one of my posts you'll see where i actually tried the autonomous driving for the first time semi-autonomous driving for the first time and it worked great i just took my hands off the steering wheel and every now and again it told please touch wheel and it stopped and started and stopped and started in heavy traffic on the a500 now i only thought this thing did it on motorways but no it did it on a major a road and it did it very well it stopped perfect you know gave me about 10 yards before the vehicle in front it waited till the vehicle 
left and then started up gradually and then went to the same speed as the vehicle and then slowed down and braked for me did everything the lady did not like it she thought it was a bit weird because I wasn't touching anything but it was a nice little bit of an experience so this has got that so it's an extra toy and probably you wouldn't use it unless you're in heavy traffic down in London and then you might do if you're traveling and commuting into London every day and you just push that button I suppose for a good 15 20 minutes in heavy traffic it's it's great I know a guy in, in the States who has one of these and he uses it every day to go into LA. Uh, and he would not be without that option. So that's the two options that I'm glad I had or looked for. Because I didn't buy this brand new, you know that. Let's think of something else. Hmm, let's ponder. Excuse any shaking that happens when I'm going through this. I've not got the gimbal on the camera, so I'm trying to be very clever. Hello. Oh, another thing as well. Lovely these are. Do keep a lot of the sun out. These uh, black tinted windows at the back. Again, option. And again, something else that I know is an option. I wouldn't be without it. Is the comfort pack. Um, so it's a pretty, you know, optioned up motor. There's no doubt about it. And the extra. Yes, cup holder. Whoa. You need that in your life. And so I've really got three if I include that one where my uh, phone holder is. So yes, definitely. The comfort pack is a great little thing. Let me knock it for something instead of being so nice about it. These. Why don't those back windows wind down? Why don't they come down electrically or even cranking? If these babies came down, that would have been a great bonus. And they don't, which is a great shame because it would have let a bit of air into the back body wise it's held up really really good I've already got any stone chips on the front of this at all um, very very rare there's, there's more these are like flies you know there's the odd one a tiny tiny one or two but for saying what it is and such a flat fronted vehicle not a lot of marks on it at all so I've done well there original screen of course I put these on as I said in the review last time and again never look back on those because they're really good I'm glad I did that they really flash really well um, so that's great back to the inside here's something I've never used I, I never use the eco pro I, it's just always in comfort mode it's defaulted to that and it always stays there I've never ever used that <sighs> maybe I ought to try it and see what difference it makes and give you a bit of a report on that at a later date any comments below would be great if, if other owners have shown that to be a bit of a bonus and maybe i don't know 10 more mile on a full charge in in permanent eco pro or eco pro, pro plus excuse me that's a mouthful isn't it again i don't use the usbs a great deal there's one there just for my phone and i've also got an extra one that came with the carplay system i've never used the auxiliary on it <laughs> just haven't i'm trying to knock it for something and i'm struggling here folks Round to the rear now. This I really loved from day one, this glass back. And I still think it's one of the best parts of the car. If you, I'm always polishing it, always trying to keep it clean because it gets absolutely messed. So yes, this panel I feel makes this back end all solid glass and it really does look nice. So I always keep it clean. Oh, and by the way, just for the record, I have found that it is pretty rapid off the mark and it's still as good as it was when I bought it so tiny few marks coming on the wheels now it's been through one winter so there's a few marks not a great deal it's just a bit of salt underneath the the top on the top layer there but bmw have never been known to have a great layer on their diamond cuts and it doesn't last long and i've got one or two wheels like that but hey ho no big deal no big deal at all what do i don't like about it wow come on kevin find something like I said apart from the back windows coming down that's pretty much my review done because I can't knock it for what it is I, I love the speed I love the the economy out of it wife loves it she can't really think of anything that gets her goat um, I've got used to the back doors there's one for you let me just bring it to the front here again have I got used to these back doors hmm I think I have I didn't mind them when I bought it. 
I don't mind them now. There's only been one mistake when someone shut the front door before the back. Um, didn't do any damage. But you just have to remember to have a mindset of just doing that before you do that. That's it folks. I can't think of anything else to say about it. I don't want to bore you too much. So just remember, if you're not already signed on and being part of the KK and family, please, please join up. Subscribe, as they say. And always remember, because that's our logo, electric first, dino fuel second. Happy days.